I'm Kasuya from Kyoto City University of Arts. Next is a video message from Sophia Krik. But just before that, I would like to introduce her and Poland to you, just briefly. Sophia Krik was born in 1947 in Wrocław, Poland. And uh, she was born in the same year as uh, Ishiuchi san, and uh, their mothers are also in the same age. Uh, so she studied at Warsaw Art Academy in 1971. She started to collaborate with then her partner, Pushime Suwaf Kuihek, as a Kui Eklik. Uh, Poland is at the center of Europe in between uh, two big states, Germany and Russia. Its history has been complex and harsh. It used to extend from Baltic Sea to the Black Sea, a spacious land. But in the 19, uh, 18th century, the nation was divided three times by Prussia, Russia, and Austria, and its nation wiped out from the map. During World War II, Poland has been occupied by the Nazi Germany with the extermination camp. After the war, under the control of Soviet communist, ideologically, socialist uh, realism was the only expression allowed by the state. With censorship, the freedom of expression was highly limited. Against this background, Kufie Kurik did various performances and produced experimental works since 1970s. Uh, while overt criticism against the regime was not possible, they continued experimental attempts in daily life practice and analyzed regime structure with a sense of humor in search of freedom of expression. In 1987, she started a solo performance but continued to analyze various images based upon critical um, perspectives. And in 1989, Poland was democratized with other Eastern European countries. Societies underwent cataclysmic changes. In this turbulence, Click created a photo collage, large pieces consisting of multiple elements questioning about voluminous images distributed on media, its influence and control. Her works are highly regarded globally. In 1997, they were displayed on behalf of Poland at the 47th Biennale and also were picked up in Documenta 12 in 2007. And Kufie Klik and their fellow Neo Avantgarde are uh, now positively revisited for their boldness of activities under socialism. Their works are now archived. She was not able to make it here today, unfortunately, but she kindly joined us with her video message. Please have a watch. Hello. My name is Zofia Kulik. I am living in Łomianki, suburbia of Warsaw, in Poland. There is a spring 2016 and everything around is flourishing. Thank you for inviting me to the symposium titled Unfortunately, I cannot come to Kyoto, and I am very sorry. The title of my video presentation is Far Away From Wars. I was planning to present two of my works, which are good answers to the title, I suppose, to the title of the symposium. Yet, recently in Poland, there is so big political change that I have to uh, complete my presentation. Since December 2015, I have been participating in manifestation for manifestations, plural, 
for democracy in Poland. I want my country to stay in Europe. Please have a look. All V missiles are one missile. This work takes the form of photocarpet. Here are some examples of my inspiration. When you look from afar, the composition appears to be a geometric pattern. However, as one comes closer, realistic images can be recognized. The work consists of three parts. The left wing, the center and the right wing. The left and right wings look as if they were horizontally placed church facade where one part is a mirror image of the other. At the bottom of each representation of the facade there is the Brandenburg Gate from Berlin, with skies cut into five missile-like forms. When you look closer, you realize that the symmetry of those two parts is only illusory. The left wing is devoted to a woman. In the middle of Rosette is a monument of the country our mother from St. Petersburg. The monument is surrounded by an oval filled with multiplied figure of a woman holding a drapery. Between the rosette and the gate there is a reproduction of Schindler's painting Eve from 1902. On both sides of the facade you can see frames from a television screen with women lined up in rows, Dysingers, Miss America competition, Chinese girls singing in the name of Mao, etc. The right wing is devoted to a man. In the middle of the rosette you can see a monument back and front from Magnitogorsk. It is a sculpture of two workers holding a huge sword. It is easy to guess that the army industry was the main branch of industry in that area. In an oval rosette a multiplied nude figure of a man is holding a drapery above his head. His phallus is replaced by a metal crowning of a banner staff. This attribute I used very often in my works. On the left 
from the rosette is a man with a stick directed towards the center of the composition, analogical to where the painting of if is on the other side of the work. The areas next to triangle facade are filled with television frames showing roles of soldiers from all over the world. The grey stripes at the top and at the bottom are filled with television frames showing execution of 1941. These frames I took from a documentary The Russia We Lost shown by Moscow Television in February 1993. In the corners you can see me. I'm holding a metal crown of a banner staff and on my womb there is a rifle magazine with five missiles. The title of the work, All of the Missiles Are One Missile, is a paraphrase of Eliot's words, All the women are one woman. All images are taken from my archive. The second of my work is titled 
from Siberia to Siberia. The work has no central point, no borders within composition and no metaphors. This work could be endlessly continued. The two names in the title refer to Siberia, a bleak frozen land for many generations, a place of exile for dissidents, and Siberia, the name of the first internet cafe in London, Siberia Cafe. When I started doing this work in 1998, I had no personal experience of the reality of either Siberia or Siberia. Through many years I took photographs of images on television screens. work is made up of over 18,000 images. The idea was to record the river of television images which drift in front of the eyes of most inhabitants of the planet and my eyes included. This visual material includes events, people, wars, and also current affairs, which were recorded with film cameras from the moment of its invention and then shown on television. I was personally distant from those events and yet they have helped to create my mind and sensibility. And the work is like a trace of what my eyes have seen. I know that in this seminar Isi Uchi Miyako is taking part. I have asked myself what is the basic difference in our works. Most of my works are like epic maps. They are based on the quantity of images and the relations between them within each one composition. I use photographic images, but I do not see myself as a photographer. Isi Uchi is the photographer. In her works, the single individual object or a person plays the main role. They are heroes. What is common? I think that we both touch the passing of time. And like archaeologists, we look to the past, not let it go away without our present reflection. Sometimes it is a sorrow, sometimes a warning. Thank you.